Hi, I'm Maxwell Morrow. We're here at Car of Snowcraft to introduce you to our lineup. Uh, we have five boards in our lineup and we focus on free pow, freestyle, and free ride. Uh, we're a pow centric uh, snowboard company out of Cardiff Fork, Salt Lake City, Utah. Cardiff Fork is our namesake uh, for our snowboard company. It's uh, where we spend most of our time. It's where our owner, Sam Bodden, learned to snowboard. So here we are at Cardiff. Um, so our Cardiff line uh, for our free POW series is two boards. It's the POW Goda. Uh, this is our carbon POW Goda split. It comes in a 52, 58, and 62 size. Uh, this is our flagship board that pretty much launched the company. Super fun and playful. Makes three inches feel like a foot. And it is an amazing board. It's super fun. The other board in our free pile lineup is our Swell. This comes in two sizes for next year's offering, 160 and a 156 is our split version. Surf, yeah, beautifully look, eye-catching board, surf inspired for that crossover from surfing into snow. Are you using uh, the Phantom Clips, is that? We are using the Phantom Hercules Clips. Yeah, absolutely. The board that uh, makes up our freestyle portion of our lineup is our crane. Uh, really eye-catching design. It's a directional twin. Uh, on the larger sizes, this would be in a 158, 2.5 millimeters of taper in the tail. But it is a twin shape for the freestyle-minded uh, riders out there. Beautiful artwork by Kyson Dana, who we commissioned. And this is our Carbon 158. What's that? No? What kind of constructions in the boards? So we do a bilateral core flex, um, tip to tail, uh, polonia, poplar, and carbon fiber in our Duro models. Poplar, polonia, and titanol in our carbons. But what sets us apart is the bilateral core flex. It's what we call launch pads. And so launch pads, as you can see, is a routed out section in our tip to tail construction that insets and gives really good toe to heel response underfoot. And you can really see that in some of the boards uh, where we offer Oh, you can obviously see it. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Cool. Well, I All right. Rounding out our line is our free ride models. Uh, one being the Bonsai 158. It's going to come in multiple sizes for next year, above and below uh, the 158. Uh, this is a really fun free ride, POW focused board. A nice side cut radius. All of our side cut radiuses go from about 7 meters to 11 meters. Uh, talking about the big gun that loves to roam with range is our GOAT. So our GOAT split, this comes in an enduro and pro carbon model. Uh, this is the 158. Uh, comes in very uh, various sizes uh, down to 150 on up to 166. That's my size. Right for there. a full <laughs> spectrum of riders, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Also, commissioned Kyson Dana to do the artwork on this one. That's very cool. Really eye-catching, just like the crane. Timeless and beautiful. The goats range, uh, what defines the goat, like I said, is it likes a lot of real estate to roam. It's a big mountain board, but also nimble for not so big mountain. Uh, but it has a 9 millimeter side cut radius all the way up to 11, uh, being on the lower end, the 150, all the way up to the 166. We're finding that this, this board in our splits is very, very popular, as is much the lineup. We're having a great response from this board. I'm not too sure to touch on uh, what kind of profiles are on most of these split boards. Are they camber? Yeah. Camber. So what I can do is the Pau go to Show this one. Okay. 
So the camber profile on a lot of our boards have camber technology. Um, we came from splitboarding roots and we wanted something that went up as well as it rode down. So we call that the transcend theory. When you're skinning along, rather than shuffling your board along and just pushing it, you want it to kind of ride and glide along the skin track and also perform edge to edge when you're skinning up whatever slope you're going for. So when we put it together, we want it to ride effortlessly down too and be fun and playful. So we've incorporated a half camber technology. This is the Pagoda here. It's a 50-50 camber profile, which means 50% rocker, 50% camber. And what makes this really uh, ride well for us is changing the pivot point on our snowboard. So as you can see, the pivot point is right underfoot, which gives it a really nice surfy, skatey riding feel. It makes it super fun and powerful. We've got the, the touring right there, so got camber, so awesome. Yeah, yeah. So as you can see, if you go from tip to tail, reverse camber into camber underfoot. A nice early rise tail. Do you want me to go over the other? Yeah. Yeah, so we go like 60% in most of our boards, 65% in the crane, so we can I can kind of touch on yeah. just breeze through like 60% in these boards, yeah, pivot points a little different. Yeah. So we discussed a little bit about 50-50 on our Pau Godas. Uh, the other boards that go up in percentage to 60%, camber and then 40% uh, reverse camber are our swell, our bonsai, and our goat. So a little bit more camber under the board where you need it. And then moving into the crane, goes up to 65%, so 65% camber deck. The pivot point's a little bit further out here. So as you can see, as you move down the board, it has a lot more camber underfoot. Yeah. Touring beast right there. And what's different in these boards here is what we call speed bumps. So what we've done is all of our side cuts are a progressive radical side cut, meaning that there's different radiuses throughout the master radius of the board. And here we have a little bit of a reverse side cut that comes out just a little bit under your heel and toe to give you that quick response edge to edge right when you need it. What a great option too.